Hello from Helsinki, Finland. We are here at Slash, the biggest startup event in probably in the whole world. Here at Finner stand I have here with me Ari Soinola from Finner Cargo and Ilari Neitola from Coco Systems. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Monty. So, Ari, you are here demoing Finner Cargo Eye. What does it mean? Yes, uh, Finner Cargo Eye is a, is a new tool for us that, that gives us a real-time visibility what is going on in, in our network, meaning the aircrafts and also the trucks, where the, where the cargo is and what is, for example, their temperature and, and also displays in case we have, a, for example, a short connection that we have to make sure that that connection actually holds and we can actually deliver that customer promise. And Ilari from Coco Systems, what's your role in this project? Our team at Coco Systems has been developing the solution uh, in close collaboration with Finnair Cargo. Uh, and my role has been to be the team lead and architect and responsible responsibility has been to bring together the Finnair Cargo's domain expertise and our talented developers in order to create this solution. Okay, so what does this mean in practice? Can you show us a little bit? Yeah. In practice, if, if Ilari, you can zoom in, for example, one truck that is coming from northern, uh, northern uh, Norway, we actually know that the exact location where the truck is, now it's a little bit uh, below the uh, lake of, lake of Pajan, heading towards Lahti, and we, we know that it takes uh, it takes X amount of minutes before it arrives to Helsinki. Why minutes? Minute, minutes are important. Minutes are important that that we don't have that much time in Helsinki to load the aircraft with the salmon. So so when when the truck arrives, it's extremely important us to, to to fulfill that customer promise and make it to the flight. So Ilari, what does this mean on technology side? Yeah, on the technology side, the biggest goal has been to create a scalable platform to support the increasing Im amount of IoT sensors also in the field of uh, logistics. Uh, now, currently, the biggest challenge is uh, that the ecosystem is still forming and there are no well-established uh, uh, best practices or st standards, so we can think we are creating them also in, uh, somehow. Uh, so, but basically that means we have had to create the architecture which supports, uh, supports the easy and effortless integration of these IoT providers to this platform. So many, really many things, interesting things going on. So what is the next phase? What's the development and what's the future? Yeah, as, as Ilari mentioned, this is a platform that can integrate all kinds of data. Some of the information that we already see, see that could be useful for us, for example, weather information can be integrated into this, this uh, platform. And, and some of the elements that we, what we have been talking, thinking about is, for example, how to, how to integrate emission and sustainability to this, to this view and, and also, also how to display that information to the customer. So those kind of ideas we have in, in, in our agenda at the moment. And let's see how, when, how, how fast we can progress with those. Let's hope that really fast and in that we need your help. So if you are got interested in this cargo I development, do pop here at the Finner stand and say hello to us. And if you're not here at the Slash, then go and check the FinnerCargo.com site. And stay tuned, there are more live broadcasts coming today. See you soon.